And good evening, my name is Paul Ishupo Foriadi. Sorry yesterday we couldn't do the live broadcast. It was a three days powerful uh, training, free training on the digital skills for kingdom filmmakers. And in fact, it was uh, mind blowing. I have never seen such in recent times in my life that we are online from 6 p.m. till after 10. And people were not bored and people were there alive, active, I was like, wow, what a very dynamic thing. Thank you so much. I appreciate all of you. Uh, we are very going on on the importance of the sound in production. Uh, we are so glad. We stopped at the um, surface mount and precious zone microphone. Uh, we talk about the wireless. Today we're going to be talking about the wireless. And that is only we were talking about. That's only one thing we're going to be talking about today wireless microphone wireless microphone uh, in many production situations uh, we discover a standard microphone with a cable is not appropriate sometimes you discover this is going to be a problem especially some places that is far away the, the cable and will be showing and you want to avoid it perfectly so cables are not attractive on camera and can cause the talent to fall so sometimes um, the production personnel that at the location can trip on an uh, audio cable causing injury or pulling the cable out of the uh, equipment it is connected to my name is Paul Ishupo Foria this is special drama film school online the first of its kind on Facebook live and later being uploaded on YouTube I really appreciate all of you uh, I just want to give the kind of singing uh, look tonight not just the flat way or flat whatever that's why I just do this singing look um, then, we have rounded off of our quiz on the thing last Saturday. So this Saturday we're going to be having a lot of things coming up by the grace of God. So sometimes the production personnel may have an issue, but we don't want any injury connected to it. So the wireless, uh, the wireless microphone often refers to as RF. Maybe you have seen RF, RF, RF. So this is often referred to as radio frequency. Radio frequency. Everybody say radio frequency. Uh, yes, type it for me. Radio frequency, RF mic. Freeze, uh, freeze the person's bean mic, mic from the tita of the audio cable. Sorry, uh, you are hearing the sound underneath, please. Sorry. Sorry about that. So, which is often aesthetically undesirable. Like now, when I talk about audio, you discover that that audio is not good because the sound of the baby is coming in. And uh, it's really, really talking. It's really, really expressing herself. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. If you're doing a movie and you're hearing that or you're in a class like this and you're hearing that, you will be distracted because there will be contention of what are you hearing, what are you listening to. But it's part of it because the lockdown is not easy to lock your family down. You can lock them up all the time. Several times they'll go to the room or they go to leave my office and go to the room and do some things. But it's not easy all the time. Which is often aesthetical. So if you if you're people like the, when you mic people, mic them at the tip of an audio cable, which is an often aesthetical, undesirable, or downright downright in, in practical in film and TV shots. What does it mean? It's not good for it to appear. It doesn't give any beauty to it. It does have to do with something very very meaningful. So the Bet Park radio transmitter used uh, for live radio level micro microphones is attached to the person being mic'd okay a plug is attached directly to the mic and other audio source and send the audio sig radio signal encoded with the audio information to a receiver to a receiver so when you mic it like this in mic now it's good to another audio receiver just like a wireless microphone you know wireless microphone so if it's been mic'd and all that you get it and all that so a plug is attached and you build it. The standard receiving distance is usually no more than 100 feet. That's the standard receiver. That's why sometimes in, the, in movie production you see that the, 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 the sound engineers are not far away from those people. There are some mics that can go far that even if you're in the bush. You know, the Lord will help us. We get to the, that level that when you're doing the microphone and you're far away, the person is going to the bush and you're still hearing the sound. That's what I love about Sure Mic. Sure Mic is very, very good and it's very, very uh, it's also expensive, but with but with a very good system, the receiver may be at the location up to one quarter mile away. Some ant head microphone have the transmitter built in the mic shaft um, shaft itself, 
Although wireless mic are essential, they are very essential in location TV work, especially TV work. I know many of you like TV work and all that, so they should be treated with great caution. A great many, uh, great many factors can arise to interfere the signal. This is particularly true in a band environment where various electrical sources and other RF signals from standard broadcasting and point-to-point -point communication generate radio frequency interference. If you're not careful, you'll just be hearing <laughs> that will, you'll just be hearing radio station. You'll just be hearing radio station in 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 in, in your film. A radio station coming to the signal. So that's that like, one radio, radio that's why you are looking for location to you also look at where you run away from all those stations, especially you get to use the lapel mic and uh, all those kind of mic. You need to look at it critically. So, although wireless mic are very, very essential, are essential in locations and other TV. So, RF mics come in two frequency ranges, two frequency ranges, and things are changing right now. Things are, even at that time, they don't understand it, but it was like, you know, they have a VHF and UHF. You know, all those things are metamorphosed to what is still having today. The VHF is a very high frequency when we have HD. And then uh, I told about HD, F, HD last time. I was saying that HD means high definition, full HD, you know, you know, full HD. So you have to look at it critically and say, okay, these are the things that I need and that is needed. And you also have a UHF. UHF is ultra high frequency at that time it was frequency thing now this generation we're talking about high definition we're talking about things that mix and so years ago the vhs frequencies is between 174 to two 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 one six uh megahertz 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 so were very popular because they work fairly well and were cheap to buy but they were also very susceptible to interference of all kind towards the end of 1990s the entire radio frequency spectrum was reshoveled by the FC, FCC to accommodate digital TV. In Nigeria, you know, it was just, they just find themselves uh, forcefully to just manage to be in HD. Many of them are not even on full HD yet, and they are still managing themselves to be on HD. So please, uh, whenever you are watching, from, tell us the name and the country. Just type it for us. And anything you don't understand, just say, please, can you come again? And, uh, and if my audio is very clear, just uh, please, the audio is clear, just write it like that. So, uh, if you say, I can hear you, I will understand that. So, you need to understand those things and uh, the, the, the digital thing come and the host of other users. Most frequencies common before 1990 are no longer available today. Are no longer available today. And that is why if you see somebody that wants to sell his own station or radio station or television station, you say you want to sell something and you don't know it and you don't know about it and you want to just go and buy it. Somebody was, um, I, I consult for radio, uh, a radio and television station. I particularly somebody wants to do a television station and I was consult and still consulting anyway. And the person was just saying something. I said, no, everybody is going digital now. Instead of wasting that kind of, million of millions of naira on a physical place, let's first of all have our presence very strong. If I spend that million on digital, I tell you, you have more results. I'm not fabricating. I'm not trying to. You will have serious results. And when you have a serious result, by the time you now have a physical office, it will have some. But when you have a physical office first and nobody's visiting, it's a waste of money. It's a waste of resources. So those are the things you need to look at and all that. So you have to look at some older RF mics are not legal, uh, not legal under the current FCC, EFC, like EFC, FCC rather in the America. Uh, rules for frequently used. The same thing in Nigeria. You don't, don't use any other thing for whatever you want to do. So, so for that reason, most wireless mics, microphones are sold now uh, in uh, in the UHF frequency range of 40, uh, 450 megahertz and above. They provide a much better range and uh, reliability, reliability, that is reliable, reliability than it, uh, earlier system. Please, if you want to invite anybody, just type the name of the person and the person will just show up here. Okay? That's one of the one way you can invite people. Just mention they say, oh, we'll let, oh, oh we'll yeah, but say, uh, for, for Lashade Ibrahim, uh, King Michael, we are there. It will just appear here. Okay? So, as I was saying that, it's more reliable than earlier system, but they do cost more. When you buy a professional wireless microphone, you will be asked where the mic will be used. To help ensure that you will not be able to you'll be able to use a frequency that many others in the same market will also be using. So if you if you if you are not if you're not careful, 
you just want to buy anything and you just buy it and that's the problem but you get to a location you were just receiving all signals all manner of signals then you have a problem with it okay you have all manner of problem about it so let's go about this one now uh, which is the very very compulsory when you buy a professional thing they will tell you a mic bot or in in phonix in phonics for use in that market may not work well in, in, in Los Angeles. You know, that's that's American now. Production crews traveling around the country often very wireless system that can change frequency to adapt to the local airways. That is why many times when you bring those things to Nigeria, we have problems. Because they didn't tell us, it just is very good. And we didn't ask, we didn't read other details about it. We just buy it. And once we bought it, and it becomes a problem. And the, the thing was just come. You said that thing was not good. It's not that it's not good. You didn't ask them. Whether it can adapt, whether it can adapt to the local airwaves, whether it can adapt to your own country airwaves. So you have to know that, you have to learn that. These wireless microphones are called frequency agile. Frequency agile. At the beginning, you know what it's called? But now they are called frequency agile. Even with this, if more than uh, if more than one set of wireless microphones are being used, the sound person must take care to make sure the frequency has spread out from one person to another interference okay a large production that is a production company or whatever you're doing a big big work you're doing a big production uh, uh you need to understand or a network news uh crew may use up to eight wireless mics at one time so keeping them all clear can be a headache especially when traveling so you need to understand that one. One of the biggest causes of interference is reflected radio waves from the transmitter. From the tra Most of us have a transmitter all around when you are shooting the location. That's another thing when you are looking for your location recce. Pay attention to what is an environment, the marks, the church, and the time of the operation. If you say you are going to shoot a movie very close to a big church, and you know 5 o'clock they will start praise and worship. And that thing, that thing is critical. I guarantee you will not be able to shoot that day because the noise of the church or the mosque or the industrial environment or the transmitter if it's coming to your microphone may not allow you to shoot that day so you need to understand all these things and you have to put all these things into 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 place so this wireless mic are called frequency agile so if you are doing those things you must know one of the biggest causes of interference i've told you is really from the transmitter striking the receiver at different times just like reflected audio waves cause echo if you understand music just say yes just say yes, yes, say yes. Type yes. Let me see you typing yes. That's very good for me. Let me see you type. Who's typing yes? It's good. Okay, let's go. So, uh, those are the things you need to look at to look at it very well. The path between transmitter and receiver must be as clear of obstruction as possible, especially anything made of metal. Anything made of what? Metal. Always look at that. Anything made of what? Metal is very very important it's very very important anything made of metal you have to be very careful of it because you reflect to further improve your chances of getting a good signal make sure the receiving and transmitting antennas are parallel they are what parallel parallel in other words one cannot be one cannot be horizontal while the other is vertical one cannot be horizontal while the other is vertical also be sure that the antennas are not called or bunched up if they are the soft type right that's very very important you must pay attention to that one type of wireless that that cures some of the interference problem is is the is the diversity system what do i call it write it for me diversity system help me type it out diversity system just type it diversity system in effect in, in effect in this system and uh, in this system each transmitter has two receivers the system switches seamlessly to whichever receiver has the best signal. So there is no interruption of the sound. There will not be any interruption of the sound. That's very, very important. Now, on a very close level, uh, before I round up, I need to tell you this. Getting the signal into typical uh, wireless, a uh, wireless byte pack transmitter, that is the type most commonly used, is not easy as it might look. Okay? It's not easy as it might look. Each brand of transmitter has its own special cable connector for its associated microphone and is not usually compatible with anything else. You will need an adapter, an adapter cable. You will need it. It's a very, very thing that goes from a female XLR 
X XLR out to the particular transmitter's connector to attach uh, a different oh, microphone to it. Okay. Because most wireless situations call for the use of lav mic. It is beneficial to have one wired to plug directly into the transmitter. That one is very, very good. You will enjoy yourself. And some transmitter called plug plug-ons. Plug-ons. Write it down. Plug-ons can be plugged directly into an audio line and the bottom of a mic. They are most bulky and cannot be hidden on a person as easily as a bed pack can. These are very, very important for us to know. And these are the things that we need to pay attention to. One of the things I've also discovered about sound is that sound, when it's very clear, it's also closer to people. You're moving closer to people. When your sound is very clean, when your sound is very great, you also move closer to people and to get some things done as it is. So you need to pay attention to all those things. Maybe you're buying sound, you're buying some things. Make sure you're getting the right direction. Make sure you're getting the right perspective. Make sure you're getting it in a very great way. And you yourself will say, oh, I'm getting something good. I'm getting something reliable and all that. So those are the things and all. This is how I can go tonight, but let me appreciate some of us who has been really part of what we are doing and all that. Please, 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 you can mention your name, the country, the city you are watching from. I can't see everybody. I can only see Kunle Adekpo. You thank you for joining us. I could see Reverend Matthew Apayinka. Thank you so much. Uh, Sister Deju Moke Adedini. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, good, good evening too. Thank you so much. Let me hear whether you have any question before I go. Uh, this is a special drama film school online, the first of its kind on Facebook Live and later been uploaded on YouTube. We thank God because we have been able to do this for the past three years, complete three years. And this is this is this is wonderful for us. So please questions before I go. Questions and all that. Please get a consultant. Make sure you get a consultant and I'm here as a media consultant to help you. Maybe you want to also register something that has to do with TV radio and all that or online tv you want to register your online tv or online radio please you can also contact me i will be of help to you okay so as much as as long as media publishing whatever i will be of help to you let's get together let's work together as a family and let's make sure that we advance the kingdom of god any question before i go i just want to welcome one or two questions before i go maybe on the previous thing we have done or the ones you have not done, or we are the ones that maybe something has been bothering your mind for a longer time. So let's talk about it. I'm so glad we are having our reference book, the Portable News, right now, and we are we have covered way, 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 way past. In fact, it gladdens my heart that we have covered so many things. And tonight, before I go, let me just show you uh, some of those things I mentioned tonight. Let me just show. You. Um, Okay, do we see this? Okay, do we see that? Okay, all right, you see this microphone, wireless microphone. Okay, then we also have this wireless microphone, it's very, very important. This one, the transmitter, you see the transmitter, you have female and male, you know, you plug it together, you can see those things, and uh, those are the things that always have been happening to us. So you need to look at it. The typical wireless transmitter, uh, receiver, and mic, as I just shown you, that I also show you the two examples of the pressure zone microphone, a wireless microphone that can consider any of the standard mic connected to a smaller portable radio transmitter, especially the one that is, we are so used in our churches, in our places, and uh, in our environment at schools that we use it. So thank you so much, Brother Conley. You're doing a good job. We are proud of you. We believe that together we advance the kingdom of God. Nothing can stop us. We are determined. Uh, you miss you, you miss our Zoom classes for three days. Wow. I pray that the thing will be out on time. Wow, wow, wow. I tell you, it was a mind-blowing thing. It was a mind-blowing thing. The mind-blowing things. Yeah, but I couldn't say, I discovered there are much sub, sublinance effects with labs. With, what, what can you tell us about this? Okay. Very good question. Thank you so much, sir. You know, ordinarily, the lapel mic, okay, the laughs mic is meant, the lights mics, they are meant for interviews. They are actually meant for interviews originally. They are meant for interviews. But you know one thing about Africa is that once you practice something and you get a better picture or better audio, everybody dances to it. Everybody was everybody will be using it without not even knowing the essence of it. Now, having said that, you can have about three, four, five laughs mic. Now, one of the good things is this. 
it makes the voice the voice to be on the same temperature with nothing falling. So once I have a live mic with you, my with me, you have given me normal audio. Whatever I want you to do, whether I want me to start slowly or gently, it's on the same frequency. So it has the same flow. But let's say I'm using my clothes. On my clothes, you are using the lap, lap mic. On the on the white shirt, you are using boom mic. There will be differences, and you can't match it. You understand? You can you can, you can't you can't match it. There is no way you can match it. So when you want to have those things, you, you have to be trained also because I've not gotten to that, but you have to be trained also because tomorrow we're going to be talking about ancestry, ancestries. You have to be trained also. You don't rumble the thing. I've made mention in one of my previous videos. You don't rumble, you don't rumble because you can spoil it. Some people don't even know how to, they just finish like, bah! you can spoil it. So you, you must be trained with it. It's not something you use lap mic to somebody who is staying longer or some people staying longer on that set, okay, and they're speaking more. If they are speaking more, you give it to them so that you can have a clear, clean audio. In fact, when you use lap mic, like let's say now, um, okay, like look at it now, like this water now, look at it. I know you are hearing the sound because of this kind of camera I'm using. But I can guarantee you, if you're using live mic, it will be doing, you'll be hearing the sound very clear the way I'm drinking it. That's one of the benefits. Another benefit is this. It saves you a lot of audio boosting after production. It saves you a lot of audio boosting. You, you know one of the things is that if you have recorded noise and you say, help us to boost it, noise will also be boost. All right? There are always a un noise boost too. So, those are the things. It's very good if you have it. And don't just buy anyone. You have to buy the quality one. You have to buy a quality one. Very sound one. Very quality. Very good one. Very, very powerful one. And it's very good. So, Brakone, hope I've been able to answer your question a bit. Uh, I hope I've answered your question a bit. Who has a question again? Let me know if I've been able to answer it. Uh, maybe if you also have addition, you can also contribute. So, it's not just one one man show. Uh, you can also contribute, sir. Uh, by the way, Barakunle Adekpoju, Adekunle Adekpoju is a very wonderful, uh, a filmmaker, a powerful man of God, and also a child of God. That's the most important to me. He's a child of God, and he's also a filmmaker, a cinematographer, a director. That's why I say filmmaker by excellence. That's why I use the word kingdom filmmaker for myself, okay? <laughs> Everybody can use anything. I love if you say I'm a Christian filmmaker, yes. If you say I'm a kingdom, if you say I'm a gospel filmmaker, yes, it's okay. You're right. So, Barakunle, have I answered that question? I hope you are doing something on this COVID thing. All of us are doing something, no matter how small it is. Let your voice be heard. 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 It's very important. Let me know if I've answered your question before I go. Monday through Friday, we come up every day. Saturday and Sunday is interactive. Uh, and all that. Okay, there's another question. I said, have I answered that question very well? Do you advise frequent use of live mic for film? Let me be sincere with you. This is my stand. Based on the equipment I have for now, I will not advise a frequently used laugh for film. If, in fact, if you have a very good standard, standard, mark my word, standard boom mic. If you have a very standard boom mic, it's very good. But when you when you have what we talk, what what it takes, if you have all the takes for good laughs, then it, this all depends on script. If your script is not demanding for those things, that's why you also have an audio design. Miracle, you're tempting me, but let me talk about it. You also have audio design. When you read the script, you look at who is talking more. You do your design. You do your everybody's working. Everybody's having his own template. Everybody's working. It's only some of us are just uh son, let's boom mic. Sing what? Who are you booming more? No director that will tell you where I give him the mic, he's speaking more. You have read your script, you understood your script, you know how it works, and all that. So if you frequently want to use it for film, beautiful. But for me, it's more for interview, it's more for documentaries. Okay. Laugh is more for documentary films. So when you say films, it could also be films. So if it's documentary films, why not? It's okay. You are, you are very good about it. We are good about it. We, can, we are good to go. Do you get it now? So 
If you want to use for documentary, you are good to go because you will need it. You will need it very well. All right? You will need it very well. So if anybody wants to be using it, fine. But for me, go and spend your money on a Cincinnati sound condenser kind of microphone. You will like you will like those sure microphone uh, uh, boom mics. Okay, you will like it. That's the truth. You will like it. But many of us we use the cheap one six thousand, one seven thousand, one ten thousand, fifteen thousand. How many of you can invest in a boom mic of one million? <laughs> you understand boom mic of one million or seven hundred, five hundred thousand. How many of us? So <laughs> if you can, if you if you can agree, if you can you can do that. Why not? So even look at the professional films, you see them, they're using boom mic. But if it to be something you want to do on a very special level, right, no problem. Thank you so much, I appreciate you. But Akunle said, yes, I produced three content on COVID-19. Yes, please push it out. On some too. So please, the Lord bless you. And don't forget, don't just be creative, stay creative and be a person of creativity. Do have a wonderful day. Bye.